So in this video, I've got another multiple modded outfit for you guys. So remember that when you do the outfit transfer glitch, you do lose all your outfits except for only one. So before you do the glitch, go ahead and equip the outfit that you don't want to lose. Also, make sure you go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece. It doesn't matter which earpiece you buy, just go ahead and buy a rebreather or an earpiece. Also, um, if you guys don't like the outfit with the black joggers, then just wait because maybe I might do another one with these same outfits but they're gonna have the tron shoes on but all these galaxy outfits are gonna have the black joggers with the um, tron shoes so when you're ready to do the glitch go ahead and equip the outfit that you don't want to lose go ahead and come to the clothing store set your spawn location on last location go ahead and hit your pause button go to online and go into swap character So once you get in here, all you want to do is just go over to your second character and it's either going to say edit or delete. If it says delete on your second character, go ahead and delete your second character. Two new characters are going to come in and you're going to see the button that says edit. But if you see edit on your second character, go ahead and select that. When your character is going, whether it's a girl or boy, you're going to get this message right here asking you if you want to copy your stuff over, just go ahead and accept it. After you accept it, when you get into this room right here, if your second character ended up being a male, just go ahead and change it into a female. But if it's already a female, just go ahead and leave it as a female. Go ahead and save and continue. Go ahead and make a random name for it. And then when you, after you take a picture, it may or may not play the Casino DLC trailer. For me, it didn't play it, but some of you guys it might play it. But whether it plays it or not, it's not going to affect the glitch. So whether it plays the Casino DLC trailer or not, it's not going to affect the glitch. All you're waiting for is to get spawned inside every new session. So when you get spawned inside of your new session, all you want to do is just go ahead and open up your map and you want to check to see if there are any clothing stores inside of your session. So now as you can see for me there are no clothing stores inside of my session. So if you don't see any clothing stores in your session, all you have to do is just go ahead and find a new session and then the clothing store should be inside of your new session. But if you do see the clothing stores in your session, just go ahead and make your way over to any of the clothing store. So since I wasn't close to any roads, I just put my uh, spawn location on random so it spawned me somewhere else when um, I found a new session that had clothing stores in it. So right now I'm just about to get spawned inside of my new session and then the clothing stores should be inside of this session. So if the clothing stores were inside of your session just go ahead and make your way over to any of them. So now as you can see the clothing stores are inside my session so I'm just going to go ahead and make my way to the nearest clothing store. So when you get to the clothing store you just want to come inside go to the top section go to leather bomber jackets and purchase the gold geo sn leather clothes so just come inside of here and go ahead and purchase the gold geo sn leather clothes after you have that just going to make your way over to the uh, pants section go to utility pants and buy the black battle pants so just come to the pants section, go to utility pants, and buy the black battle pants. Once you have that, just go ahead and make your way over to the accessories. When you get to the accessories, go to the earrings. And since some female characters spawn in with earrings, just go ahead and take off any earrings if your female character had them on. So after that, you just want to go ahead and make your way down to the gloves and purchase the you light woodland tactical else. gloves. So after you've purchased the light woodland tactical gloves, just go ahead and come save the outfit. When you save it, go ahead and save it in an empty slot that's on your main character. So I'm just going to go ahead and save the outfit inside of my first slot. Also, I'm going to be naming them by color so it makes it a little bit easier for you guys to follow. So if you're not sure how to do the glitch, just go ahead and copy every single step I'm doing. So once you've got that, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the top section. Go to rig jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes field. We just come over to the top section go to work jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes silk after you've got that go ahead and back out go to the tuck t-shirts and buy the blue digital t-shirt 
So just go to the tuck t-shirts and buy the blue digital t-shirt, which should be number 75. So after you got that, just go ahead and go to the pants section, go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants. After you've got the spotted muscle pants, go ahead and make your way over to the shoes, go to the boots and purchase the ox blood slack boots. So just come over here to the shoe section, go to boots and purchase the ox blood slack boots. So after you've got that, just go ahead and come save so the outfit. Now this outfit, when you save it, make sure you save it right underneath of the first outfit that you made. So these two outfits are gonna make the first outfit you see in the thumbnail. I hope I put them in order so it makes it easier for you guys. So I'm just gonna save this as green one, or yeah, I save it as green two. So just gonna save it underneath of the first outfit that you made. All right, so for the next outfit, you just wanna go ahead and make your way over to the top section again. Go to the leather bomber jackets and purchase the multicolor SN leather clothes. So just come over here to the leather bomber jackets and purchase the multicolor SN leather clothes. After you have that, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the pants section. Go to the utility pants and buy the black battle pants one more time. So just come by the black battle pants. After you've got that, just go ahead and come save this outfit. And I'm gonna name this outfit purple because it's gonna be for the galaxy, the purple galaxy one. So just go ahead and come save this outfit. Like I said, I'm gonna name my purple. And um, I'm just gonna save it right underneath of the last outfit that we made. So you don't have to leave a space in between them. All right, so once I've got that, or once you got that, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the um, top section. You want to go to the uh, work jackets and go to the peach camo clothes field again. So just come over here to the top section, go to work jackets, and purchase the peach camo clothes field. Once you've got that, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the pant section, go to sport pants, and purchase the spotted muscle pants. So just come over here to the sport pants and go ahead and purchase the spotted muscle pants. Once you have that, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the um, shoe section, go to the boots and purchase the black slack boots. So just come over here to the shoe section, go to boots and purchase the black slack boots. So go ahead and purchase them right there. After you have them, just go ahead and come save this outfit right underneath of the last outfit. So I'm going to name this as Purple 2. So after you got that, just go ahead and come save it underneath of the last outfit that you made. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and name mine Purple 2. So now that I've saved it, I'm going to go ahead and now we're going to make the third outfit. So for the third outfit, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the top section. Go back to the leather bomber jackets and purchase the color Geo SN clothes. So just come back to leather bomber jackets and purchase the color Geo SN leather clothes. So that's what it looks like right there. Go ahead and purchase that. After you have that, just make your way over to the pants section. Go to utility pants and purchase the black battle pants again. So just come to the pants section. Go to utility pants and purchase the black battle pants. Once you have the black battle pants, just go ahead and come save this outfit. I'm going to save this as um, orange because it's going to be for the orange uh, galaxy outfit. So I'm just going to save it underneath of the last outfit that I made. I'm just, go, I'm just going to go ahead and name it orange. So once you have that, just go ahead and make your way over to the top section. Go to the rig jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes field again. So just come to work jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes field. So once you've got that, just go ahead and make your way over to the pants section. Go to the sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants just like that. Just go ahead and buy them. After you buy them, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the um, shoes. Go to the boots and purchase the chocolate slack boots. 
So just come over here to the shoe section, go to the boots and purchase the chocolate slack boots. So after you've got that, you're just gonna go ahead and back out and come save the outfit underneath um, your last outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this orange too. So just go ahead and come save this outfit right underneath your last outfit. So now that I've saved that, we're gonna go ahead and make our last outfit, which is gonna be for the pink galaxy outfit. So you're just gonna go ahead and make your way over to the top section, go to leather bomber jackets again, and buy the gold G, um, I mean the gold SN leather clothes. So just come to leather bomber jackets and purchase the gold SN leather clothes. So that's what it looks like, just go ahead and buy that. After you buy that, go ahead and make your way over to the pants section, go to utility pants for the last time, and buy the black battle pants. So just come to utility pants and buy the black battle pants. Once you have that, go ahead and come save this outfit. I'm gonna go ahead and save it underneath of my last outfit that I made. So I'm gonna name this um, pink. So just go ahead and come save it right underneath of your last outfit. So once you've got that, you just wanna go ahead and make your way over to the uh, top section, go to work jackets and purchase the peach camo clothes fill for the last time so just come to the top section go to work jackets and purchase the peach That's camo clothes fill once you have that just go ahead and make your way over to the pants section go to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants so just come to sport pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants once you have that just go ahead and make your way over to the um, shoe section go to boots and purchase the worn ox blood slack boots so just come over here to the um, shoe section, go to the boots, and purchase the worn ox blood slack boots. Those are selling like hotcakes. So just go ahead and purchase them right there. After you've got that, just go ahead and come save the outfit. When you save this, save this underneath of the last outfit that you made. So I'm just going to go ahead and name this uh, pink too. So I'm just going to come save it underneath of your last outfit. I'm just going to name it pink too. So once you've got all the outfits, you should have something similar to mine. Or if you copy what I did, you should have exactly what I have. Once you have all of that, just go ahead and hit B, go to standard outfits, and purchase the Chica outfit. Once you have that, just go ahead and back out, hit your pause button, go to online, and go inside of creator. When you get inside of Creator, go ahead and click on Race, and then go ahead and click on Land Race. When you get loaded in, go ahead and click on Race Details, go ahead and fill out the title and the description. There don't have to be anything specific. After you've got the title and description, go ahead and take the photo. After you take the photo, go ahead and put the maximum players on 2 and put the root type on point to point. When you've got that, just go ahead and hit your pause button and warp over to the airport. Get to the airport just hit b go to placement go ahead and click on place triggers go ahead and place it down and then back out of that go ahead and take the lobby camera after you have that just go ahead and back out click on checkpoints now when you're making a race it has to be only 0.62 miles or longer so just go ahead and make the race 0.62 miles or longer after you've made it 0.62 miles or longer just go ahead and hit b twice and it's going to give you the option to test out the race and you just want to go ahead and test it out So once you finish the race, you're gonna get this completed and ready to go ahead and accept it. When you load in, just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, and go to choose character. So when you get in here, you just wanna go ahead and make your way over to your second character and you're going to delete her. So make sure you're on your second character, not your main character. Go over to your second character that you got outfit on 
and then we're just gonna go ahead and hit delete on her it's gonna ask you to type in delete to confirm it go ahead and do that after you delete your second character two new characters are gonna come in and from here when these two new characters come in just go ahead and hit B so it takes you into single player So when you get loaded inside of single player, all you want to do is just go ahead and hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GTA online, and just go inside of an invite only session. So just go inside of an invite only session when you load it into single player. So when you load inside of online, just go ahead and come save the outfit that you didn't want to lose. When you save it, go ahead and save it on your last slot so it doesn't mess up when you're trying to merge the outfit. So just come save this outfit in your last you slot. Find your size, we'll Once you save it. the outfit that you didn't want to lose, go ahead and back out, make your way over to the top section, go to racing jerseys, and you want to purchase race motocross racing jersey. So just come over here to the top section, go to racing jerseys, and purchase race motocross racing jersey so it's going to be this one right here go ahead and purchase it after you purchase it just go ahead and back out hit your pause button go to jobs go to play jobs go to rockstar creative go to versus and start up the job called crooked cops i started up the wrong job by accident because i was rushing but go ahead and start up the job called crooked cops when you start up the job called Crook Cops, make sure you put the clothing on player own and you want to invite either one friend or a random. Like I said, I started up the wrong job, so my bad for that. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly back out and then um, start up the Crook Cops mission. So like I said, when you go inside Crook Cops, make sure you put the clothing on the player owned and invite either a friend or a random. When the job starts, go to owned outfits and hit right on the D-pad twice. And you're going to have this exact same outfit right here if you copied everything I did. So when the job loads up, go to owned outfits and hit right on the D-pad twice. So when you get loaded inside the job or the mission, you should have this exact same outfit on right here if you copied everything I did. So when you load in, just go ahead and hit your interaction menu, or open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories, put on either a rebreather or an earpiece, and open up your phone and quit the job. So when you load inside of your um, new session, just go ahead and make your way inside of ammunition and come save this outfit. When you save the outfit, remember to save it towards the bottom so it doesn't mess up when you're trying to merge your other outfits. So just come inside of ammunition and come save this outfit towards the bottom. Once you save this outfit, you can go ahead and delete the first two components. So once I save it, I'm going to go ahead and delete green one and green two because those are the components and you don't need them anymore since you've already got the outfit. So I'm just going to go ahead and come save this outfit. And then I'm going to delete those two components at the top. Once you delete the components, go ahead and make your way over to the top section, which should be right here in ammunition. So just come over here, hit right on the D-pad, go to racing jerseys again, and purchase the Poison Motocross racing jersey. So just go to racing jerseys and look for the Poison Motocross racing jersey. Once you get that, just go ahead and back out, hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar, create it, go back to versus, and start up Crooked Cops again. And remember, you have to put the clothing on player own or the glitch will not work. So make sure you put the clothing on player own and invite either one friend or a random. So 
so once again make sure you put the before then on player own so when your friend or the random joins just go ahead and go to owned outfits hit right on the d-pad twice and you should have this exact same outfit also right here and then you just want to go ahead and ready up and tell your friend or the random to also ready up go inside of the mission or the job just go ahead and open up your interaction menu again go to your styles go to accessories put on either the rebreather or the earpiece and then you just want to go ahead and open up your phone and hit the job from your phone So when you load inside of your new session, we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing again. Just go ahead and come save the outfit. When you save it, remember to save it towards the bottom. Just go ahead and come save this outfit towards the bottom. Once you save it, um, you can go ahead and delete the two components again because you don't need them since you've already got the outfit. So just go ahead and come save the outfit. And then you can go ahead and delete the um, components. I'm going to delete the um, components named purple and purple 2. So just come save the outfit and then go ahead and delete the um, two top components so right now we're just gonna go ahead and delete purple and purple too once you delete those two just go ahead and make your way over to the top section which should be right here again go to racing jerseys and purchase a turbo motocross racing jersey so just come over here to the racing jerseys and purchase a turbo motocross racing jersey once you have that just go ahead and back out hit your pause button go to jobs go to play jobs rockstar created Go to two verses and start up crooked cops again. So when you start up crooked cops, most important thing, make sure you put the clothing on player own or the glitch will not work. So once you put it on player own, go ahead and invite either your friend or a random to um, join. Once they join, go ahead and make your way down to own outfits. Hit right on the D-pad twice again, and you just want to go ahead and ready up. So when the job starts up, all you want to do is the same thing again, go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories, and put on either the rebreather or the earpiece, which is one that you decided to spice with, go ahead and put on the rebreather or earpiece, and open up your phone, and quit the job from your phone. Once you load inside of your session, we're just going to go ahead and go um, save the outfit. Once again, when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom. So once you save it, you can go ahead and delete the component sports. So I'm going to delete the components name orange and orange 2. So just go ahead and come save the outfit and then delete the components for it. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and save it. Like I said, make sure you save it towards the bottom. So now that I've um, saved it, I'm just going to go ahead and delete orange and orange too. So once you're ready to make your last outfit, just go ahead and make your way over to the tops again. Go to racing jerseys and purchase the candy motocross racing jersey. So just come over here to racing jerseys and purchase the candy motocross racing jersey. Once you have that, just go ahead and back out. Hit your pause button, go to online, go to 
jobs, go to play jobs, rockstar creator, go to versus, and start up crooked cops one more time. So when you start up crooked cops, again, make sure you put the clothing on player owned, or the glitch will not work. So make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either a friend or a random. When the job loads up, just go ahead and make your way down to owned outfits. Hit right on the D-pad twice, and you're gonna have this exact same outfit on right here if you copied what I did. So just go to owned outfits, hit right on the D-pad twice, and go ahead and ready up. So when you load inside of the mission, you're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing again. Just gonna go ahead and open up your interaction menu, go to your styles, go to your accessories, put on either the rebreather or the earpiece, whichever one you guys bought, and then open up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Once you load inside of your session, you just want to go ahead and go to ammunition and go ahead and save the outfit. Once you save it, go ahead and delete the last two components because you already have it. So I'm going to delete the components named pink and pink 2. So in total, you're going to have four outfits if you did everything right. So just come save the outfit and then delete the last two components. So I'm going to show you guys all the outfits that you should have after I save this. So if you guys enjoyed the video and were able to get the outfits, don't forget to drop a like on the video, share, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out on any other videos.